Assalamu alaikum. Today we have something called random experiment. So, first we will talk about um, the term of probability. So, probability is a very common term in our lives. For example, when you walk in the street and you see the sky, there are some clouds in the sky, the weather is bad, you say that probably it will rain. This is probability. Or when you walk into a street and you know that your friend lives there, so you say probably I may meet my friend. For example, he is heading out of home or going back to home, so you may meet him because he lives in that street. This is probability. So, in order to express this probability, you see something and then you build some results. So, when you look at the sky, you see some clouds and then you say, okay, it will rain. Maybe it will rain. For example, when you toss a coin, so the, the result here is very expected. It will be a head or it will be a tail. So, let's try it got a coin and they say it will be a head. Let's try this. Head. Yes! Yes! Head! So the random experiment is as simple as that. It's nothing like a chemistry experiment with a lot of stuff and explosions and things like that. Just an experiment in your daily life that you can expect the results. So you can say the results and choose one of the results and say that probably it will happen. And here we must take care of the word probable. We cannot say it's certain to occur because now this is not probability, this is certainty. In the random experiment you can expect all the results and say that some of the results are probable to happen. But you are not certain which one of these will happen. This is the random experiment. And in order um, to collect all these results, we put them in a set. It's called a sample set. So that's what we'll talk about in the next time. And until then, thank you for watching and see you. Assalamu alaikum.